Oh, welcome, welcome to this video playing step by step the national master from um, Bulgaria. It's no name, but I played him a number of times also with uh, older accounts. Okay, the King's Indian playing the h3 line again. But, um, transposing into a Benoni. Check. Yeah, this is yeah amazing how often you get this line, and it's simply it's simply bad. But uh, I had it uh, I had it only recently and uh, forgot forgot the refutation. <laughs> so um, maybe uh, it's his right to play that. But it gets tricky. I mean, rook f1. How do you protect f7? Oh, that's Check. That's a way to protect f7, but... Uh, <laughs> Black resigns. <laughs> yeah, sh should I even upload this? <laughs> One minute playing time. Yeah. yeah, Black is already lost in this position. He cannot play knight e5 at all. Check. We, oops, sorry. Um, there's, he has no, uh, no other moves. And here I'm, I'm, I'm coming with rook f1, tripling, and I'm breaking through on f7. Um, yeah, again, this is such a quick game. I'm doing a quick review of the opening. Uh, bishop h8 is not a good move here. h6 is not a good move. Um, what black can try here, if uh, especially if, since we're talking about a blitz game, he can sacrifice the exchange here. Check. For a pawn, this is an interesting way to play. Trying to um, regroup and then use the e5 square. Okay, but this is sometimes played. Rook takes e2 is considered to be too risky, as I'm getting quickly even to h6 in most lines. Yeah, and this I think um, Black can try to play like that. And uh, I had a game recently where I didn't really refute it. And um, the main setup is doubling on the F file and uh, increasing the pressure along this along this file. The way he played it, um, it's as mentioned, uh, loses um, loses immediately. It's um, still interesting that you get this against the title player. It's very well known that uh, this line is not uh, not so reliable for black. Maybe with very very accurate play you can avoid an immediate disaster, but it's uh, it's difficult to do. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching.